Hi guys, and welcome to the SoccerNet team's latest presentation. After the great success of our SoccerNet challenges in 2021 and 2022, we're back with new tasks and new challenges. Are you ready to climb once more on top of the leaderboards? Let's go! If you followed us before, you know that video analysis in soccer has a ton of potential applications like automatically summarizing games to find the most important moments or searching through past games to find when your favorite player scored. But currently, only the top league and competitions are able to afford fancy systems and sensors to get this enhanced soccer experience. That's where our SoccerNet dataset comes in. We want the community to develop methods that rely solely on visual information and we provide open source data, benchmarks, and tools to foster new projects and ideas in the field. Last year, we proposed six tasks related to soccer video understanding from broadcast videos or single viewpoint cameras, and the response was amazing. We had over 70 different teams participate, including some famous universities and companies. We received over 600 submissions and our Discord community of researchers working in the field is almost at 400 members. So the question is, can we beat those numbers this year? It's up to you, so make sure to join our community if you haven't already. This year, we have several challenges split into three main themes. Broadcast video understanding, field understanding, and player understanding. Each theme has one or several challenges. We'll start with the first theme, broadcast video understanding. Silvio and our new colleague Hassan will take you through the challenges. Hi Anthony, we are indeed excited to announce that we are renewing our action spotting challenge for this year. But that's not all, we also have new data available for you from our new partners, Photovision, which allows us to propose a new fine-grained action spotting challenge. As a reminder, action spotting consists in localizing when and which soccer actions occurs in our case, it used to be among 17 classes, including goals, cards, corners, fouls, and so on. Each action is annotated with a single timestamp, which results in annotations being quite scattered in long videos. Now, we are proposing a new fine-grained spotting challenge for ball pass and drive events. Those events are much denser and requires a higher level of spotting precision. The density of those events, as well as the subtle underlying movements of the ball and the players, makes this new task even more challenging. In practice, we provide seven fully annotated games to tackle this task. So you may want to take a look at different training paradigms, such as transfer learning, unsupervised learnings, or semi-supervised learning. Remember that you still have access to the 500 videos from the original SoccerNet dataset. We believe that these challenges will bring valuable insight for live game analysis and will be extremely helpful to collect statistics. Also, working with few annotated data would require thinking out of the box and coming up with bright new research ideas. We can't wait to see what you all can achieve with this new data and the new challenges. And now, let me introduce you to our new colleague, Hassan, who will present our latest challenge. Hi everyone, my name is Hassan and I'm thrilled to introduce the one new SoccerNet challenge on dense video caption. The goal of this challenge is to automatically generate captions that accurately describe the events occurring in the game and localize them in a time with a single timestamp. For that, we provide annotations of comments and their timestamps for almost 500 original SoccerNet broadcast videos. This challenge is more complex than traditional captioning tasks as it requires not only good understanding of the game, but also the ability to generate local action, which is a new level of complexity. We believe that this challenge will push the boundaries of broadcast understanding and bring valuable insight into how we generally train a vision and a language model. We invite you to participate in this new challenge and we are eager to see the research outcomes that this new challenge will bring. Those are some very interesting challenges. Next up is field understanding, and Florian from EVS Broadcast Equipment will tell you all about it.
Hi everyone, I'm Florian Magera. I am Innovation Engineer at EVS Broadcast Equipment and I'm also a PhD student at the University of Liège. My research revolves around camera calibration because this topic is of great interest for EVS as camera calibration is the key to link the 2D image world to the 3D real world. This is why EVS decided once again to sponsor a camera calibration challenge. Compared to last year's edition, there is only one task. So the participants given an image are expected to provide the camera parameters that shot this very image. Other changes are the following. So first, um, the metric will be tighter, even if it's still based on the reproduction error of the film markings. Then the dataset is bigger and contains more annotations. And finally, uh, this year we advise the participant to leverage the information that around the pitch for a specific game, there is a fixed number of cameras and some of them may have uh, fixed positions as well. That's it for me. Uh, if you want more details or to see the sample code, you can check out, check out the GitHub repo and do your best and try to win the prize of $1,000. Cheers. Awesome, Florian. Let's see what crazy new methods you guys will come up with. And finally, we'll focus on player understanding with challenges presented by Vladimir and Shin. Hi everyone, my name is Vladimir Sommert. I'm a PhD student at APFL Uselova and Sport Radar, and my research focuses mainly on personal identification and multi-object tracking. This year, we are happy to introduce a brand new challenge, the SoccerNet Jersey Number Challenge. In this task, you will be provided with a new dataset made of tracklets of players. The goal of the challenge will be to recognize the jersey number of each player. We will release more information about the challenge very soon, so please make sure to stay tuned. I'm happy to announce that this year, the SoccerNet Player Re-Identification Challenge will be back. As a reminder, the goal of this task is to re-identify a given soccer player across multiple camera views, depicting the same action at the same point in time during the game. The task of re-identification is very useful for player tracking or retrieval across multiple cameras, and it can be used for many downstream applications. Last year, we received a lot of interesting solutions from the participants, but the task is far from being solved. I'm also delighted to announce that Sport Radar will sponsor a $1,000 competition prize money for the winner of the challenge. Please make sure to participate this year. Hello, this is Shin senior researcher from Baidu Research. We're proud to announce the 2023 SoccerNet Player Tracking Challenge. In this challenge, you will have to both detect players and track them through single camera soccer videos. In the computer vision literature, this is called a multi-object tracking task, which aims at recovering trajectories of multiple objects in time by estimating object bounding boxes and identify them in video sequences. For each video frame, you will need to find bounding boxes of the players. Then, across the frames, bounding boxes of the same player need to be identified together to form a so-called tracklet. When a player goes out of the camera view and comes back, he needs to be put back in his original tracklet. So pay attention to long-term re-identification as well. Last year, Many had success combining techniques from the re-identification challenge as the ground truth bounding boxes were provided as input. This year, it is even more exciting and realistic that we're doing both detection and tracking in an end-to-end -end fashion. We will award the winner with a $1,000 prize. Good luck, and we're looking forward to seeing your amazing solutions. All right, that was a lot of great announcements. For our new participants, you'll find plenty of useful resources in the description to get you started easily. There is definitely a challenge for everyone, so don't hesitate to come and test your bright ideas. The challenges start now and end in May, with winners announced at CVPR during the CV Sports Workshop. We hope to see you there. To stay up to date on all challenge information, join our Discord community and follow us on our social media. We'll also be announcing tutorials to help you get started on the new task and connect with our community. If you want to support us, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to share this video with any friend, colleague or AI model who might be interested. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.